Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to upload your model into a UGC. So we are going to begin with this clutter ring. What you'll want to do is make sure that you have your game open in Studio, of course, and then you will need to go over to Asset Manager. You can find that up here or it may already be over to the side like mine. You will click on this button, Import, and it will go to your folders. You'll want to then find the folder you're looking for and bring it into the game. Once you have clicked on the item, you simply click open and it can be imported as a single mesh or many parts. But for our circumstance of making an accessory, we want it as a single mesh, not as many parts. You would hit this, apply all, whichever, it doesn't matter. Then it uploads into the game. Once you have it uploaded, you'll see it over here. I've already done that, so I've already clicked on it, and here it is. Now, as you notice, there's a different location from the dummy, which is our model, versus the item, which is clear over here. We need to get them all together at the same space. Let me move this particular one out of the way for now. This was the mesh that we used for our closed clatter ring, and now we're making an open one. So I need to make sure that my dummy is on a position that is helpful. I have zero, three, zero. So when I bring over the open ring, I want to change the name. I do that by tapping on it once and it will open up the file so that I can take off the meshes at the beginning. Okay, I've clicked on it and I'm going to slide it right over or even better, I'm going to scroll down to where it says position. I want to have zero, three, zero. You'll see it's right there. So then you play around with where you want it to fit. I will put it at six. I think that's a good place. And as you can see, it's upside down. That's because the heart is open and pointing out. And that is how you wear a clutter ring if you're available. Now we want to use two plugins that Roblox provides, both of which are currently free. The first plugin is called Asset Creator. I'll put the link in the description so that you can find it easily. But if you're looking for it, you can go over to Toolbox and type in Asset Creator and you should be able to find it as well. Now what we want to do is click on Accessory because we're making an accessory here. We follow the instructions, we click on the item, and we click on the dummy. We click on making a hat because we're making a hat attachment, and then we go Classic. It's already completed. I, if I want to test to see if I like it, as you can see, it's made it above here. I want to make sure to move the move cursor over the little hat. I don't want it on the handle. That will actually mess things up. Click on the hat, and then I bring it down to this cool accessory button that allows me to try it on. It's called an, a button apply nearest accessory. You can find that in the box as well. Play here, and I'm going to try it on now. It's perfect. Now, as you can see, I have my old heart. I can take that off now, and I can wear this heart showing I am available. Or I wear the other heart, which shows I'm not. Let's get that, and I will demonstrate.
There you go. Here is the closed, taken version of the clutter ring. It means friendship, loyalty, and love. It's very, oh, <laughs> classic heart. We don't need two of them on. So that's the idea. Now let's move along. In order to add this now, we want to make sure you can see that this handle is the box. You'll see there are other ways to import your accessory. For example, you may be told that you need to make it as an OBJ. You can do the FBX extension as well. It really doesn't matter. What's most important is taking this asset creator and turning this into the mesh part. You'll find the most success that way. So now we take this item, we want to click on the hat, not the handle. And we right click and we hit save to Roblox. Now, as you can see, the picture's horrible. That's not what I want to show. So what I'm going to do is discard and I'm going to click on my other plugin. Now you can purchase the plugin, which is what I did. And I find it's not even working. Or you can just type in plugins, UGC thumbnail, and you'll find a lot of options. So I used that one and I had no problem. As you can see, this is the picture that it showed me. I don't want that. So I'm going to scoot it back. Uh, maybe just there. And I want to rotate it. And maybe move it back again so people can see. Okay. Hmm. Probably... Hmm. I need to move it just a little bit over, but then that seems to be too much. So maybe if we do this, let's see if that makes a difference by moving the camera this way. And then what it's going to do is it's going to set its placement. Okay. Let's see what happened there. So now when I click on this, and I saved a Roblox, the picture is there. It's a little bit too small, so I'm going to work on that again. Hold on and I'll get right back to you. As you can see, I've got it set how I want it now. Now I want to change the name. What I found is for some reason, Clotta is being removed. I don't know why. It's a very old traditional term and who knows? Roblox is Roblox. So I'm going to call it something different. It's from the Irish and Scottish heritage. So I will just call it Irish Scottish ring. And there'll be a lot of different variations. So I want to say that this is the red. No, I want to say actually that this is the silver red heart. And it's open because it's upside down, meaning the heart is open and available. Then I need to add my description. Next, you want to put in your description. Now, as I told you, they will tag out cluttering, but I went ahead and left it so that people can do their research on the history of this amazing, extraordinary ring that has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. Now, we choose avatar item, and then we choose hat. As you can see, I am validated I am currently using Uptown Rose as my account that will be posting this UGC item. Then I have me as the creator. I could enter my groups, but I'm going to just choose me. I'm going to go ahead and write crown and I'm going to write silver. Silver wasn't found, but crown is. So I'll go ahead and use that as a tag. I'll have to pay 750 Robux to go ahead and have this uh, considered for submission. I will pay that now. Are you sure you want to do this? Pay and submit. It will upload and then shortly it will be approved. So once it is approved, then I can place it on sale. I can go to my creator dashboard and do that now for my other closed Irish Scottish ring. So let's do that now. You can see that it's currently waiting to be accepted here. That's what you'll find on your creations dashboard if you're waiting for the moderation queue. 
However, if it's been accepted or approved, then you'll see the picture. And I think the thumbnail turned out nicely, don't you? You click on it here, and then you can see all of that is presented. And I could go ahead and fix this tagging. Then I want to choose between limited or non-limited. If I choose limited, then I will, of course, have a different cost than the non-limited. So consider what's best. The current price for a hat is 60. So that's probably what I'll do, right? And you will have to pay money to publish this item. You'll also need to agree with marketing policy and community standards, of course. And then that puts it on sale. So I hope this video has been helpful. I will be doing many more videos on this channel about UGCs, how to make them and what to do and how to help get your models out there. So please be sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it and found it helpful and subscribe for future upcoming videos. You can also go to my other channel, Uptown Rose, where you can see me sharing UGCs and focusing on codes, limited items, etc., etc., and playing some games that have limited items in them. Thank you so much. I've enjoyed spending time with you. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.